$21,000. That's just how much an Atlanta townhome complex owes the city for water. One woman says residents just aren't paying. CBS 46 is Adam Murphy, live there tonight with more on. Adam, this is a stunning story. Well, good evening. This is a stunning story, and I can tell you this is a fairly new property here on Cypress Lane in Atlanta, but already they're in some deep financial trouble with the city of Atlanta. I'm running for president, HOA president of Southwood Reserve Townhomes. Denise Harris decided it's time to take matters into her own hands. She's lived in this Atlanta townhome for nearly three years and said more than half of the people living at Southwood Reserve aren't paying their fair share for water. I'm disgusted by it because I'm unemployed, been unemployed since 2020 and I'm making it work. It's about sacrifice. Each townhome owner has their own water meter and is required to pay for service. But Harris said nearly 70% of those living here are not. If somebody doesn't stand up and step up and do the right thing and make sure everybody is on the same page of making sure everything gets paid, then this community is going to go down and is going down fast like the Titanic. According to this disconnection notice from the city of Atlanta, Southwood Reserve Townhomes owes more than $91,000. It's been a final disconnect bill for three years. Harris fears that city officials will turn off water to the property if the bill isn't paid soon. So CBS 46 questioned HOA President Valerie Baker about it. But are you working to make sure that everybody who lives here is paying properly? We're doing our best to get the people to pay, yes, sir. If elected as the next president, Harris said she intends to hold every resident accountable before it's too late. I don't owe anyone anything. And I know a lot of other people around here don't owe. It's the ones that really do owe and they think that they're getting away with it, but they're not. And no official word on if or when the city of Atlanta may disconnect water to this entire property. To this point, they continue to send out disconnection notices like this with that total amount on it. Next up now, we have reached out again to the president of the HOA out here and asked about a time to meet and discuss solutions and we're waiting to hear back. We're live here in Atlanta, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.